As the investigation into the power abuse scandal that's gripped the nation expands, prosecutors are set to grill the heads of seven conglomerates who are known to have held closed door talks with President Park Geun-hye last year. Kim Hyesung keeps us up to speed with the ongoing probe. Prosecutors are planning to question seven leaders of the nation's major conglomerates who held closed door talks with President Park Geun-hye last July. Prosecutors said Thursday that the details of the conversations they had at the meetings held between July 24th and 25th last year will be crucial in determining whether the president is involved in fundraising for two government-linked foundations controlled by our confidant Choi Soon Si. The seven CEOs include Samsung's Lee Jae Yong, Hyundai Motors' Jung Mong Gu, and LG Group's Ku Bon Mu. On July 24, 2015, President Park held a meeting with 17 CEOs at the presidential office of Chongade and said she would like the companies to help support an organization that would help spread Korean culture. The president is known to have held closed door talks with some of the CEOs that afternoon and on the next day, and prosecutors are seeking to determine whether she pressured them to donate to the foundations. To get to the bottom of the Chesun Show scandal and meet the demands of public outcry, prosecutors need to thoroughly investigate into how Korean conglomerates were involved in this business government collusion. So questioning all the CEOs is crucial. Fifty-three companies are known to have donated 70 million U.S. dollars to the two foundations, Miri and K-Sports, and Choi is suspected of using her close ties to the president to force them to contribute money. Prosecutors have already questioned executives from Samsung Hyundai Motors SK Group over the past several days, as well as several others, as to whether they were pressured into making donations and by whom. Kim Hyesung, Arirang News.